Now that the Joomla project has announced the final release date for Joomla 4, it's time to take a look behind the scenes. Welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Thanks for joining me today. And by behind the scenes, I mean, well, the administration screens. And Joomla has done quite a bit of work here. I'm going to give you my first impressions and some of the things I think are really, really great and some of the things I wish were different. Not much has changed in that area. You'll see what I mean as we go. Well, as I mentioned, the Joomla project has announced the final release date. And as of today, it is August 17th, 2021. We have one more release candidate to go, presumably around August 10th. And then by the 17th of August, we hope to have the final release of Joomla 4. Now, does that mean you're going to run out and install Joomla 4 or update to Joomla 4 on all of your websites? Absolutely not. But wow, there are some really neat things under the hood here. This is the brand new back end of the Joomla 4 interface. And as you can see, it's been pretty dramatically redesigned, simplified, and I think in many, many ways, a lot better. You have your home dashboard, which is a conglomeration of editable and configurable mini modules. So site module, system module, notifications, third party. I'll talk about that in just a moment. The sample data. And of course, all of these can be edited and they can be unpublished. Unfortunately, you can't drag and drop these, which would have been really nice, but you can reorder them inside of the edit menu. So that's really terrific. One of the first things I noticed when I installed this this morning is that under the notifications area, as soon as I installed JCE, it came up with a great message telling me my download key was missing. How awesome is that? How convenient is that? And it also tells me at a glance that everything's up to date. I really like this new home dashboard. Long-term users of Joomla are going to note that there's some things missing here. Where is the plugins menu? Where's the extensions menu? Where's the modules menu? Well, all of that now is under system. I can install extensions and languages here. My global configuration is also here under the system menu, my maintenance area, all of the management area, including site modules, and there they are, as well as administrator modules, and as well, the ability to add a module to your dashboard. Again, fantastic that they've made this so much easier to see and do. All right, so the extensions menu is gone, but the components menu is still here, and you can probably see I've already installed JCE Editor Pro and SP Page Builder Pro. I just wanted to test those two out. And now for some of the frustrating news. If I go ahead and click on content and articles, I installed the blog data earlier just so I could see how it would work. And this is the built in tiny MCE editor. It's terrific in many ways, but in some ways it's just not. One of the first things you're probably going to do as always is install JCE. And if you're a serious Joomla site builder, you already have a subscription to JCE. So how is this on mobile? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is my iPad Pro, and I'm pretty excited to tell you that things like SP Page Builder uh, and other extensions work really nicely on the iPad. I can drag and drop with my finger or my Apple Pencil, and that's terrific. And so managing my Joomla website on a mobile device is actually pretty simple. Well, what about the phone? Well, it's really terrific as well. This is my iPhone 12 mini. And as you can see, I have access to all of the menu items and functionality right there inside of Joomla. I've got my menu at the bottom where I can easily access any section of my website. Now, I honestly wouldn't manage my site on an iPhone, but in a pinch, everything's accessible and everything is click and draggable right on your iPhone, just like it is on your other mobile devices. Honestly, I'm pretty excited about Joomla 4. And I think the team has done a great job 
of creating an administration backend that's going to make it easier for site builders to get to the things they need to get to and do what they need to do. I think the fact that everything works so well in mobile is critically important as well. Well, I hope this tour of the back end of Joomla 4 has been helpful. This is OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We release a new video every week. Would you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.